This playthrough is rated T for teen. What do you do when the world is on the verge of almost being destroyed? Why, you go on side quests! Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Arc the Lad 3. In the last action-packed episode, we went through the uh, Academy's secret base with nary a battle, except for at the very beginning in the boss itself, but we found out that the uh, Ludwig, or the Professor, wanted to activate the Sky Palace, uh, the Romanian Sky Palace from the, uh, from the second game, and to bring back the Dark One because he believes he can control it. However, uh, you know, Elk, who came by to save us, the hero from the second game, or one of the heroes from the second game, told us that it, he might, if he does that, we might lose this time because we don't have all the people available from last time. So we'll have to figure out a plan to stop him. So someone mentioned a man named Gogan, but we don't know where that guy is. Perhaps if we go back to the uh, uh, headquarters, we can, uh, Paltis' uh, headquarters, we can find it out. Does anyone have a new dialogue? Nope. You think with the world being kind of darkened as it is in uh, Rune Arc right now, it would uh, have some slightly different dialogue. But anyway, and we can also take care of some uh, one uh, outlaw monsters here too. Now they've well, all of them except for one. One can't be activated until we uh, activate a certain quest. So yeah, they tell us about the wonder posters. We could have gone here after before you know when chat book uh, disc two started, but. All right, do you have the quest yet? Oh yeah, we can't uh, do it now. <laughs> uh, even though, uh, to finish the quest, we have to talk to uh, the um, uh, Guildmaster. Let's see what the new monsters are. All right, we got Neros, the Skull King. A powerful monster appeared in the wilderness. Exterminate it and protect the citizens of Prute, Prute or whatever. We got Sterius, the Desert Devil. This monster has been attacking merchants as they cross the desert. Capture this criminal or kill it, what we always do. Grotus, the Armored Tortoise. This plague came, came from Dantanel Beach, or Dartanel Beach, and began eating everything in sight. Defeat this monster! And then we've got the Drifter, the CAA-5. A mysterious machine washed up on Dartanel Beach and began firing indiscriminately. Decommission it. And then we've got Icarus, with an extra S. Gold Dragon. This dragon sighted in the ruins is the potential for taking many victims. Prevent such an atrocity. And finally, uh, Vlad Vladimir Vladimos? Vladimos! This dangerous monster kills opponents with a single blow. Administer the critical hit. Uh, the monster that we can't get right now is, let's see, uh, the Skull King. The area that the Guardi Wilds aren't available yet. There will be a mission later on that will lock up. So we could do these guys now if I really wanted to. But uh, anyway, let's uh, report to the uh, Guildmaster and see what to, and tell him what's, what's going on. So, Hunter Alec, what did you discover about the Academy? Well... Meanwhile, we explained it. <laughs> In following this course, the Academy seems certain to make a catastrophic mistake. This energy they are seeking to unleash is not a well of untapped power, but rather an evil being. Before the disaster, it was called the Dark One. Uh, the Dark One? That's what Elk called it. The power is far beyond the ability of the Academy to deal with. I wonder if they know, they should know who Elk is because he was a hunter before the whole event anyway. If they succeed in unleashing it, it's only a matter of time before a world is completely destroyed. It appears that events are once again careening towards disaster. Why would the Academy attempt something so foolish? It's madness! No, it's Sparta. No. While that's true, we should bury ourselves finding a way to head off this catastrophe. Plans of that nature are already underway. Elk is in Ragnark, preparing a ship to fly to the Sky Castle. While, we, while he's doing that, he asks that we find a way to reseal the Dark One, just in case. Hmm, I see. Well, do you have any specific idea how to reseal this terror? Not really. Elk suggested we speak to Mas Magic Master Gogan. Have you heard of him? Magic Master? Gogan? I'm afraid it's the only lead we have at the moment. Probably went back to sleep, or got trapped in a rock again. Well, at the very least, you've accomplished the request I made of you. I would call this job a success. Search Academy complete. Now, it's my duty to notify you of one more thing, Hunter Alec. You are no longer a hunter working under the guild. Dot, dot, dot. You're firing him after all he's done for you? You're showing him the door? No, no. He has achieved a graduation of sorts. Alec, you are now working directly on a job that is the essence of why the guild was created. And a hunter of your stature has risen above the guild, just like Elk and Shu. 
Oh uh, yeah, I guess they're legendary hunters at this point. But I'm not even in the same league as them. Well, with the same level, so. Ah, well you are now. You will now, we will now give you direction to the guild itself in order to accomplish this greater mission. But I'm not ready. Of course you are. You have slogged through dozens of jobs to prove your worth. But hey, he didn't have to go through two games. He only had to go through one to get this stature. No. Besides, you have a peerless support group traveling with you. They have become hunters of a sort themselves. Well, I expect you all to work together for the common good. The greater good. Well, I'm not going to argue if you say we're great. This is all so exciting. All of the efforts to get this point of faith off its seat. Yes, but the task we're on now, taking honors, are most dangerous yet. So we shall work even harder to complete it. Exactly. Alright, Hunter Alec, what is your direction for the guild? Well, Elk said that we needed to find this Gogan. So you're directing us to help you find Gogan? Yes, I believe that will be the first step in learning how to seal the Dark One. The Dark One? Then I shall put the word out to all the guilds and have them collect any whereabouts about Gogan, uh, information about Gogan's whereabouts. I'll pledge the help of the Weapon Society as well. And I pledge the support of the Monster Society. The Item Society will help you in whatever way we can as well. As soon as we have any information about Gogan's whereabouts, I'll send word to all the guilds. Please check to the guild near where you are occasionally. Alright. Basically, to find out about Gogan is just go to another guild, talk to the guys there, uh, uh, that's not the Paltos Guild, and talk to them, and then come back, and they'll have the information for you, so. Yeah, I'm sorry, you can't do that. Yeah, they're basically saying, hey, go back to the old area, so. All right, let's take a job while we're here. Since we can do this, like, right now. So we can do the Rosh Roshifart Family Crisis and the Rhea's Dreams. We There's also another one that's here, but that doesn't activate until we... Go to another guild, talk to them, and come back and activates that one. So let's do the Rochefort family crisis first. Henriette Rochefort promises special tr compensation for a dangerous job to someone strong enough to win a martial arts tournament. Contact her at the Rochefort home. This better be not some other uh, trick to get us to hang out with her. You know, just because she has the hots for us doesn't mean we want to hang out with her. You know, I have standards. It's a little, it's a little dangerous, but the reward's great. Good luck. All right, let's get Raya's dream. The arena is auditioning for singers and dancers. Rhea, who would like to audition, is seeking someone to dance with her. Contact her in the arena reception area. Uh, I'm not that much of a dancer. I don't even know if anyone would. I can't really dance in real life, so. Get, get to the reception desk in the area as soon, arena as soon as possible. Now right, let's get the bounty for the search academy. HQ. Invaded academy headquarters with Elk. Sunken vessel floated a skyward where the professor resumed his evil plans. Reported events to the guildmaster. Job complete. All right, nice little chunk of change. All right. Let's go deal with Henrietta and see what she's she's all about. Why do I feel like this is a trick? Man, maybe maybe she turned maybe she has a legitimate Oh, I am the top hunter. Oh. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, I can enter special rooms. La 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 la. I'm better than you. Yep. Uh magic. Oh yeah, yeah, hovercraft. If you say so. I don't know about a terror, but okay. Seems like this is a slightly different dialogue. Yeah, that might be a wall. Actually, I don't think there's any more tournaments in the game. I think we're done. I <laughs> dropped a brick. Yeah, sorry. I, I feel like that's a slightly different dialogue. Yeah. Okay, Sebastian. That's the, yeah, uh, that's the um, butler. Why not? Oh, bite, yeah. Well, mice, mice and rats can do that. I guess in this game, they're more rats than mice, to tell you the truth. All right, do you have anything to say, Gruga? Are you sure? I mean, that, that appeals to a lot of it. Okay. Ah, uh, no problem. Oh yeah, that's that one guy. I forgot, Hans or whatever. So they're training and all that. Uh, you don't live in the real world, lady. It's all about muscles. Well, I heard from a lot, a lot of, well, it depends on the lady, but a lot of, a lot of times it's just confidence, really. Like, you'd be surprised how often, like, the, kind of the overweight slob guy gets, gets a hot girl because he's either confident or, uh, not so much a nice guy. I mean, that helps, but just, he's just got the confidence and just asked her out because you'd be surprised how many hot ladies actually don't get 
asked out because no one because everyone's afraid to ask him out. So a lot of times they'll just be like, oh, okay, and then you know, and then the one guy who does, she kind of just jumps on him. So, but not all cases. I'm just saying sometimes that's the case. And I'm not I'm not dumping on the the overweight guys that do that. You know, it's just saying you know for for people who don't take care of themselves physically, you know, it's surprising. So, but who am I to judge? I mean, I'll judge whether you're right or not. Doesn't matter. I'll judge. Oh yes, I'll judge. What the danger music? What's going on here? I've come from the guild, Miss Henrietta. Placed request for assistance. Uh, she in or is uh, she in? Oh yes, it's so good you came. The Rosefort family's in crisis. Uh oh, that's, that actually sounds like a legitimate concern. Really, what's happened? It isn't my place to speak of it. Please ask Miss Henrietta. I was told to show you to a room immediately on your arrival. Well, what if it was someone else that had taken the job? I see. Uh, except we're the only people who take the job because we're weird like that. Right, right this way. All right. Well, if it's a crisis, I can solve this little solution for you. Miss Adriad, Hunter Alec has arrived. Show him in. Certainly. Right this way, Alec. Okay, now it's the... We're not chasing a cat, are we? Good day, Miss Henriette. Haha, <laughs> how are you today, Alec? It's so nice to see you again. Uh, it's good to uh, see you too. I trust you are well. I, you, well, you and the others, that is. Uh, did you hear that? She called us the others. I like her now, you less. Shh, well, Cheryl, she'll hear you. Something is not right. I do not like this. Well, Valhart, you can't leave. <laughs> we took the job at the guild. We have to fulfill it, regardless how goofy the clients are. Shh, I'll see her. You too. She'll hear you. Huh. I shall be patient only a little while longer. Sebastian? Yes, miss. How can you be such an insensitive oaf? Pardon? You should have served tea to all my guests by now. Alec and I will have roast tea. Once we are served, you may offer something to the others. As you wish, ma'am. This girl is really burning my hide. She is quite rude, isn't she? Uh, just trawling off to think about it. <laughs> question mark, question mark. He's like, can, can I leave? <laughs> He's just like, I just have to shove Theo out of the way. Well, Mr. Henriette, what is your request? We'll get to that, silly. First, I want to ask you something. Uh, all right. What does it feel like to fight in the arena? Question mark. Uh, you want to know how I feel when I'm fighting in there? A question bit the rest of me, I assure you. Yeah, he's the, he's the arena guy. Except that she doesn't care about you, Bill Hart. Yeah, she kind of, you know. Does it feel good, or is it just loads of, lots of fun? Wait, or does it feel exciting? Tell me. I, it feels like I am alive. <laughs> He's still talking to anyway. <laughs> Unfortunately, she didn't ask you. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, what does this have to do with your request? Didn't you have a dangerous job for me to carry out? Yes, yes. This is all leading up to the job, I assure you. And it will be a dangerous job. So what is it? Well... You know Catch Mama Man, the host of the arena events, right? Yes. Did you know that he is also hosting the new Club Pair Battle? Yes, we helped him get that started. I don't. I forgot what the dialogue is, because the dialogue, if you don't do a quest and the next uh, thing turns around, it says you basically fail the quest, so it's almost like the game acknowledges that the quest was done, even if you fail it. So I don't know how the dialogue changes if you just ignore all the quests in the game and get to this point, for example. Oh, then this should be easy for you. Well, what does your job have to do with the love pair battles? Simple. I'd like to do that. Do what? Enter the love pair battles, silly. The two of us fighting together as one in a dangerous dance of death. At times gentle like a uh, at times gentle like a waltz, then build into the heat of a tango. It'll be beautiful. Like a dream. Da, da, da. It kind of reminds me of they have the same archetype for this girl in a game called Wild Arms. I forgot what her name was though. Like, and it was Henriette. God, it's been forever since I played Wild Arms. I need to play that game one of these days. 
But either one, Wild Arms or the remake that they did in the, for the PS2. So I prefer the original one myself. I can't wait. With you as my partner, I can't lose. Partner. Yes, my partner for the love pair battle. What? <laughs> I can't do that. How can you not want to be my partner? Don't you know who I am? Unfortunately, he does. Partners only slow things down. Double that idea with that selfish girl. Really? I don't think she'd be that bad. Well, that's because he was younger than everyone in the group. Then why don't you? Uh, well, then why don't you be a partner, Dio? Uh, well, um, well, they, uh no, do you think I can? Nah, she wouldn't want you. Hi, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> I just meant that she went to LA. I didn't say I don't want to be your partner. It's just that battling is dangerous. But I thought hunters lived for danger. No, no, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you. Ha 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 ha. I shall be fine. Don't worry about me. Besides, I clearly said the request that this would be dangerous. Dot, dot, dot. You just didn't know what I meant until now. You. Uh, oh no. You could always drop this job, Alec. I know I'd rather gnaw my arm off than the, uh, at the elbows than partner with that girl. What? Well, sh she'll hear you. I think he said it out loud. She should hear him. Sh Cheryl, sh sh please stop. <laughs> Theo's trying to be too nice. Well, Alec, you sh we should probably get going. Your entourage is getting restless. To the arena then. What about the teeth? I guess this is a job I have to do. But we're, we're, like, above the guild, right? Now we don't have to do jobs anymore. Alec, you're too nice. I am pleased that I am not required to fight it or slide. Being a hunter is a tough job sometimes. Good luck. I'll be cheering for you. Alec, you'll be all right. Just hang in there. Great. Dot, dot, dot. Thanks, Cap. Miss, Miss Adriette, wait. Sebastian, we are leaving for the arena. You stay here and look after the manor. But Miss Henriette, fighting is not suitable for a lady. You cannot risk this. It's no more risky than you trying to tell me what to do. My mind is made up. I'm going to join the love pair battle with Alec. Miss, please, I beg of you, don't do it. Oh, Sebastian, calm down. You're too overbearing. You're suffocating me. But Miss Henriette, if something were to happen to you... It would throw the entire Rochefort family into crisis. I would not be able to face, even face your father. Ha 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 ha. Sounds like your problem, not mine. Man, what a witch. If you can't face daddy, just avoid contact. This ain't me yet. I'm going and that's that. Yeah, I've known, I've known ladies like this in real life. Ugh. But that's all Sebastian. Alec, please Alec, I beg you, talk her out of this foolish whim. It was a request. I'm bound to fulfill it. Yes, yes. I placed it through the guild officially. Oh, dear. If you cannot deny her, please do your best to protect her, Alec. Please. I'll do my best to protect Miss Henriette. And I don't... And don't count me out. I may not look tough, but I am. You'll see. Uh, what are you doing? I can protect myself if I need to. Ha, 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 ha. Da, da, da. Will she actually have to back up her claims? Like, uh, I forgot the lady from uh, Rhapsody. By the way, they made a they re-released that game in, on the uh, I think on Switch or Steam or something with that and translated it. I'm actually kind of surprised. That's such an obscure game. I wonder if it'll actually sell. Anyway, but that doesn't mean I'm still not allowed. I'm not still a woman. All woman. Listen up, girl bosses. I want you to protect me, Alec. Besides, this should be fun. Oh, miss, I think you're just too optimistic. Well, it's my decision, and that's that. We're leaving for the arena now. Okay. That should be fun. Dot, dot, dot. Please, re please remember, please protect her, Alec. Alec, why are you so slow? Hurry! I'm coming. As much as I don't want to. And how are you doing this fine day, Miss Henriette? Good day, Mr. Mama Man. Are you ready for the tournament? 
Absolutely. I'll do my best to make this exciting for you. Ha 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 ha. I knew I could count on you. What's this all about, Mr. Mama Man? Ah, oh, you decided to come, Alec. This is kind of a favor for Miss Henriette. I couldn't have started the love pair, bro pair bro battle program without her family support. Oh, catch. The restaurants are happy to assist you. Of course. It's all about money. Don't worry about a thing. You'll just do what you do best. Oh, yes. On that note, I must excuse myself to get this party started. Everyone's in the pocket of the rich fruits. Lovely. And what, what's he doing? Starting the tournament, silly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Henriette Memorial International Love Pair Battle. What? The Henriette Memorial Tournament? This arena has a glorious history both before and after the disaster. And today we begin another wonderful chapter. A shining moment in the history of combat, not just in Peru today, but all over the world. We've gathered the pairs from all over the world, and the tournament is about to begin. All over the world? Andrea, just how big is this tournament? Oh, poo. Don't you worry, it'll be fine. Come, we need to get in the arena. Uh. What? Did you, what, what if we never accept the job? What, what? This doesn't make sense. I guess when you have enough money, you can just do whatever you want. Good luck, Alec. It sounds like you're going to need it. Well, but you for you. I still can't believe he's going through with this. That's much nicer than I have ever imagined. I think it's more a point of honor. He can't deny the request. Dot, dot, dot. This bear battle nonsense is stupid. Even though he did it earlier. I, of course, I, for, I I think it's canon that you choose, like, uh, uh, Alec and, like, Marcia or something like that. But I cannot believe they still need the reputation of this fine arena with that dross. Dot, dot, dot. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, aren't those the two we fought in the original World Pair Battle? Everyone's favorite MC, Catch Mama Man, is here to get this started. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The first annual Henry Up Memorial International Love Pair Battle is about to begin. You're in for a real treat this time, folks. The glorious first match is... The Sweet Room Warriors who came together for the first time in the love last love pair battle. Oh. Well, with, with them reusing assets, you know, it's almost one of the things you, you would think it would just be some random people that just happen to look like them. Zenda and Pamela. Are you ready, Pamela? I sure am. Well, then let's introduce your opponents. You're all going to love this. The first opponent is the precious only daughter of the Roshkal Rochefort, the wealthy sponsor of this tournament. Gorgeous as a sunset, elegant as a rose. Her lips as co a comely glossy red, her eyes shiny diamonds. She stands a petite five foot, one inch. Jeez, that's tiny. Her favorite beverage is rose tea. Adriad Rochefort. Ha 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 ha. Nice job, catch. And her partner, Alec of Anterud Isle. That's all the introduction I get? Let's have a big hand for the participants. That's probably what he's paid to say. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, Henriette, anyway, wouldn't it be difficult to find that outfit? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Besides, in this dress, I can look good when we take the tournament. That's a definitely anime right there. Dot, dot, dot. Do you need to borrow anything before we start? Oh, Alec, you want to give me a present? Pardon? That's so like you, Alec. Of course you may. But... We're talking about a weapon here, but... Hey! I forgot a good voice I gave them. Are we going to fight or what? We don't mean to be rude, but you're taking our own sweet time. What impudence. I'll show you a thing or two. Just let's get in battle. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, folks. This battle's already heating up. It should be a good one. Young, beautiful couples with hot heads. This will be great. The arena is about to witness the beauty and danger of the love pair battle at its hottest. You're in for a treat, folks. Let's give a big hand to our participants. Right on! Adriana! Adriana! You're the greatest! Dot, dot, dot. I feel like it's eating him up on the inside to say this. I'm such a sellout. <laughs> Wait. 
Oh, uh, oh, Mr. Henrietta, I know you told me to stay at the manor, but I just had to come and make sure you're okay. Oh, Sebastian, you worry too much. But please be careful. Ha ha ha, Sebastian is such a worry word. All right, stand ready to begin the battle. Ready, go! Henriette Memor Memorial International Love Fair Battle. Battle one. So we're gonna do a whole tournament of this thing? Are you sure? But anyway, we've got Henry and she's level one. You're not tough, and she's got blonde hair. Uh, well, her portrait is blonde, but she's got brown hair. What? what? Okay, well, anyway. Uh, this this fight's easy, especially, especially if Alex is at whatever level he is. And we paralyzed him already. Um, and yeah, they have the same, as, as far as I'm aware of, I think they have the exact same stats as they were when you first encountered them in the love pair battle. But yeah, 38, 112 uh, attack, 10 defense, 307 HP, 100 MP for the Spear Hunter. And then the healer, 37, she's got 69 attack, 15 defense, 171 HP, and 40 MP. And Honoriette is level 1 at 49 attack, 34 defense, 32 HP, and 50 MP. How are you going to survive this? Anyway, let's take a look at her stats. Uh, just overall, moving forward, magic. And she's got the gorgeous rain weapon and a jewel dress. Uh, she's got a, I, a ability called the Ruby Laser, Diamond Shower, Platinum Pressure, and Jewelry Box. Huh. What do those actually do? Well, let's find out. Oh, dear. But anyway, it has the ability. It basically shoots a giant laser that does, like, no damage. Uh, I almost want to kind of see if I can actually... Uh, have her kill someone because you gain a couple levels if, if you do that but I, I might actually kill him though as a as a but anyway the ruby laser can possibly um, paralyze someone let's show off a uh, diamond shower the only problem is she only has so much HP MP so like you can only do something so often so all right let's try a diamond shower Now that did a bit more damage. All right, let's uh, let's give her a uh, let's see, let's give her a magic apple, just to show it off her attacks. And it's still paralyzed, so we're lucky there. All right, let's show off the uh, platinum pressure. All right, is she, she almost dead? Oh, wow. Only a couple more attacks. Woo. The only problem is she will heal him when she uh, when she gets out of her paralysis, though. So, but I'll just finish him off as a... All right, Jewelry Box is a uh, uh, buff for us, so... Okay, agility went up, so... Unfortunately, I think I've, I've, my abilities are too strong to, uh... Yeah, I'll probably end up killing... I mean, I might as well finish one of them off, right? Oh, yeah, we actually have to physically attack with her just to show off that, too. Holy crap, she actually does okay damage at level 1. Sort of. Uh, she did... She kicks up for 20 damage, so she doesn't even punch him or anything with that, so... All right, let's kick her again. Oh, she slapped him this time. <laughs> let's see how many levels she gets. Yeah, she does the whole... <laughs> The, the haughty laugh or whatever whatever it's called so uh, she only did the haughty laugh once she might actually do enough damage to uh, this guy now if he isn't still paralyzed because her magic stat well actually let's see what her stats are now at this point 
And she gained a bit of bit of uh, buffs. I'm surprised they actually gave let her gain levels. I guess they never expected her to actually, you know, be able to do that. By the way, there was no reason to let her gain levels. Okay, she did off the the whole the ho -ho 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 laugh, you know. If you've ever watched anime or anything like that, you kind of recognize that voice. It was a very popular thing to to see in early like '90s anime. I can't go on. Enough. Yes, the Adriad and Alec pair achieved a perfect victory. Ha 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 ha! I knew we couldn't lose. The first match goes to Adriad and Alec. The first match? How many matches do we need to do? Andrea thought it would be fun to do tour 56. You know, really test your endurance. Ugh! Tour 56 matches? Ha 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 ha. Tour 56 or 1,000, it doesn't matter. We're unbeatable. I mean, even with my. St actually, with my ability to refill my MP all the time, I probably could beat all these. that many battles. You know, uh, by the way, that's making fun of the. Um, in Arthalad 1, there was a, uh, you could win certain rewards if you beat the arena like a thousand times. I'm serious. There was a thousand times to beat the arena and you got all these unnecessary rewards. Basically, when you did that, you got all the rewards that you could have won during the tournament again. You got like a second set of rewards from all that. It was totally not worth doing it, by the way. I did it, but it was not worth it. Okay, folks, time to move on to the next match. Dot, dot, dot. Wait a moment. What happened to the other participants? They're gone! Oh, thank God. Excellent question mark. God, what does that mean? Perhaps they were frightened by your skill and efficiency. But I told you I wanted to fight 256 matches. How can this be memorable, just one match? But Mr. Enred, it was incredibly hard just to find the pairs we did. I won't accept that if you can't get more. I'll, I'll, well, you'll scream or something like that. I'll just ask my daddy to change the host of the tournament next year. B -b -b please don't do that. We are all, well, well, all I'm hearing from you is excuses. Henriette, it seems that there's no one willing to challenge us. We're just too strong. It's not Catch's fault. Ha 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 ha. Of course, considering my abilities, I suppose you're right. That's what I was trying to tell you. There's no choice but to declare this match the final. Final? Does that mean... Yes, the Love Pair Battle Champion team is Henriette and Alec. Showcasing a wonderful attack coupled with an amazing defense. They couldn't be beat. The first annual Henriette Memorial International Love Pair Battle title goes to... Henriette and Alec. Give it up, folks. Ha 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 ha. I can't believe we won first place our, our first time out. <laughs> it was a tremendous battle. Congratulations. Oh, Alec, it's all because of you that this was possible. Dot, dot, dot. Miss Henriette, Miss Henriette, you're not hurt, are you? Yeah, she actually never got hit because I got really lucky. She can't die. I should have shown off what happens when she dies. I mean, you still win. There's no, like, oh, she gets knocked out, you lose. It's just, you just finish the battle. But, and I don't think there's extra dialogue either, so. Oh, well, whatever. Of course not, Sebastian. Did you see? We won the tournament. I know, I was just so worried about you. Oh, Sebastian, you worry way too much. I wasn't going to lose. I'm sorry, miss. I just can't help myself. And Alec, I wanted to thank you for protecting Miss Henriette so well. I was just doing my job. Yeah, he made it fun. Yeah, by giving you magic apples so you can show off all your attacks once. Well, this is certainly more than my pair of excitement for, this, for the day. Shall we go? Well, I'm not quite satisfied yet. What? <laughs> Everyone's like, seriously? I shall not allow you to fight any more today. Your father would have my head. But I want to keep fighting with Alec. I'm afraid I must put my foot down. There will be no more fighting today. It's simply out of the question. Oh, Poe, you're not fun, Sebastian. Surprised you listen to her. Or listen to him. Thank you for a job well done, Alec. You're excused. All right. Job 71 complete. Well, that was a success. Let's report to the guild. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alec. You and I really fight well together. So I just wanted you to know that I'm officially making you my knight in shiny armor. Uh, I, I mean my friend. Oh, that's kind of nice in a weird way. Well, thank you for the offer, but I have so much to do as a hunter. 
if you excuse me. I gotta get out of here. How dare you refuse my offer? Miss Alec, uh, Miss Alec is very busy helping others. You can't pester him continually as you have. I'm not pestering. He's just too selfish, that's all. Call the kettle black, lady. Dot, dot, dot. I'll never under uh, understand the appeal of these people in real life. Like, I, I can understand in, like, games and anime. It's, like, one of those joke things. You can kind of go, okay, they don't... Even though they exist, they, you can do something enough to where it's not as annoying. But in real life, I do not know how people can stand people like this. It's, it was so fun to fight. This not me yet. Actually, I'm surprised they didn't give her a gun just to be funny. Uh, there was a there was another game like that where they had this pompous girl that you think she's so weak and then she pulls out, like, a sniper rifle or something like that. And you're like, oh... You must bear in mind that you were the only Rochefort's daughter. Please don't try something like that irresponsible again. Alec is so cool when he's fighting. I could hardly concentrate on the battle when he was in motion. I think it's because you're a young woman, if you know what I mean. Miss Henriette, have you heard a word I've said? Yes, Sebastian. Something about being more irresponsible. Miss Henriette, that's more responsible. More, more not too irresponsible. Right, Cat. Ha ha ha, I know, Sebastian, I was just playing with you. But I do have another idea about how to get Alec back here. Sebastian, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, Sebastian, how can you even say that when you haven't even heard what I was going to say? I want to say. You're asking the guild to put in another job, aren't you? Ha ha ha. Oh, Sebastian, you can read my mind. Exclamation point. Someone needs to nail that girl's pantaloons to the floor. Yes, yes, they should nail it to the floor. But, either way, the job's complete. So, we could do the other job, but I think it's, it'll be a bit of a long mission. So, let's go, let's do like a Hunter's uh, Outlaws thing, just to uh, kind of fill that out. So that way, whenever, whenever I actually uh, do that, I'm not wasting a whole episode doing uh, Outlaws stuff. So, yeah. Alright, let's go to the Perude Desert. There's two, uh, I believe two enemies here. Oh, wait, no, there's only one in this spot. Never mind. Well, let's get this one out of the way and see if I can find him. So give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, there he is. The Starius. Took me a couple tries to get him to lock. The Starius is a... Is a Desert Devil at level 57. He's got 197 attack, 62 defense, 123 HP, 100 MP. He's got all the abilities that the uh, that the Desert Devil has. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. He doesn't have anything to steal, as far as I'm aware of. I didn't see any blocks on him, and I haven't been able to steal anything when I when I do this stuff off screen. So yeah. But anyway, the Perude Desert has a couple of uh, variations in this too. One is either four dragons or three cobras and two dragons. Uh, dragons aren't super bad at this point. They're just got a lot of HP, but that's pretty much it. So we've already caught dragons before, so I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to worry about that. So let's uh, just finish these guys off. This one will be pretty, pretty quick, especially with impulse bomb. I mean, really, Alex is the most powerful character in the group. Actually, with the strongest cane, Marcia is actually pretty strong, too, so. And Alec has got a lot more levels, so. Oh, actually, I could summon someone just to show him off. Uh, let's show off Zombie. Why not? I haven't been showing off my monster cards in a while. Ooh, look how creepy that was, man. Yeah, we already killed him already. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry for finishing you off so soon. Oh, well, can I reach him? Nope. All right, we'll just wait for you to come to us. Uh, you know, it's typical strategy, excitement, fatal, fatal dagger, yada yada yada. You know. Recovery tonic from these guys. So you could go to this place for to get steel recovery tonics and stuff like that. I haven't really been going over steels as much as I would have liked, just because. Yes. Stealing is useful. Don't get me wrong. It's just 
at certain points of the game, well, it is useful, like, but it's not as guaranteed as I would like because, you know, stealing light alloys and stuff like that for materials. But at some point, when you get enough money, you can just buy this stuff. Okay, well, that didn't take too long. Let's get another, uh, let's get another, um, uh, couple of, uh, monsters out of the way. So Dartanelle Beach has a couple, so let's get those done, and then maybe we'll call it an episode after that. So I'll be back when those guys appear. I guess I didn't have to cut that. We find Grotus here. So Grotus is a armor torter. Oh, armor torter. Armor tortoise. Uh, he's got level 57, 158 attack, 74 defense, 222 HP, 50 MP. He can do that ability, which raises defense a lot for some magic will be useful against these guys. Um, this uh, Dartanelle can have two different uh, fights during uh, this two. It's either two dryads and six man or two dryads and two mandrakes. Or, um, uh, sorry, six dryads all together, so. Oh, uh, you can also steal a Thames root from, uh, Grogus as well. Um, so, but we can buy those for not too expensive. Um, yeah, I'll show off corpse. Why not? Like I said, these guys are easy, so there's no point. It's the same thing, just slightly different. Yeah, see, different colored hands that come out of the ground. That's how they get you. Should kill off a couple of them anyway. Yeah. It's actually not a bad time to like try to uh, use all the cards just to show them off, you know. I mean, Theo's big use is from um, uh, his cards. If you don't give him his cards, he's not as useful. Well, actually, card feels really good the uh, raise your defense thing, but. God, I'll just gain those levels, man. And I don't even have any experience boosts on him either. It's just, he just happens to get all the killing shots, so, you know. And I'm not going to worry about missing, stealing Tim's, Tim's root from him, so. Alright, cast a spell on you. I'm going to cast a spell on you till you're mine. Look at that damage. Holy crap. Yeah, Strahd's Cane really buffs up her, her attack by a lot. Oh, we got the Thames Root anyway, so there you go. Yes, let's just get the other one out of the way. So I will, um, I'll be back when the, uh, when I can get the other one to form, so. Alright, there he is. Good to a couple tries, but we got the Drifter. So the Drifter is a CA5 enemy that you can fight at the Galecki Falls in North Salardo, so nothing unique about him other than just being a highly statted version of this guy. 57, 197 attack, 32 defense, 178 HP, and 80 MP. Uh, he's got a light alloy on him, so if you're having trouble getting those or don't want to spend your money on buying them, you can steal that from him. But other than that, uh, nothing else really to say. Yeah, unfortunately a lot of these outlaw fights I mean, they might have been challenging or at least somewhat interesting at the beginning of the game, but at this point, there's really not much to really say about them. Um, let's show up the stone gel. It, it puts gravity on everyone. Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't do a ton of damage. It's meant to try and give him the gravity stat, so it hit everyone. I don't know why I just like when they all spaz out like that. It's just something funny about that. Oh, that actually not finished him off? Huh. Impulse bomb did Well, then again, that didn't do much. Oh. Oh, you broke out of it, huh? Well, that's annoying. I was going to cast my magic on you. Oh, well. Hmm. Could have finished it faster if I was... 
paying attention. Oh well. I don't know why, just, the, just like, just like going uh, da, 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 there, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, usually impulse bomb's pretty, pretty strong, but uh, I guess not. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, uh, Marcia is basically worthless if she's silenced, so... That's usually why you want to give her a silence uh, protection item on her. Because otherwise, yeah, she's pretty much SOL'd at that point. Oh, we got a Thames roof on that guy. Now it's like he broke out of that. Oh, I didn't kill him. Huh. Well, I can have her melee him. Take this! at the Tolarka Ruins, and we found Icarus, the gold dragon. Let's take a look at it. It's uh, level 57, 255 attack, 37 defense, 722 HP, 380 MP, so he's a very tanky fellow. Uh, you can find, eventually I will be able to find gold dragons uh, to capture in a, a rune arc. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't get them to spawn. I think a certain event has occurred for that to, but, uh, but yeah, it's a version of the gold dragon. Gold dragon is basically the most powerful versions of dragons very very chunky and do a decent amount of damage but nothing we can't handle fatal dagger and pulse bomb pretty much uh the talarka runes have a couple of different uh you could either fight three, two doom mongers and three skull warriors or three cobras and four doom mongers as you can see there so we got this combination the only one i haven't talked about is the karote cave you can actually go back to the karote cave where the hovercraft was and you can find a couple of different enemies there now um since i'm gonna mention it now because we don't actually have to go back to that cave anymore uh actually there might be a quest actually maybe i'll talk about it then if it does i could swear you don't have to go back there but i might be misremembering sorry i don't i don't remember i don't remember exactly i i played that a lot a while back but that was so long ago so i only remember what's immediately on my hey let's use a yeah, it just makes him unable to move, so... Well, I'll cast it here in a second. I'll have Marcia and Alec finish him off, I guess. Oh, yeah, the, um... Uh, Gold Icarus has Dark Fragment for you to steal. So, if you have trouble getting Dark Fragments, or whatever, then I would, uh... I would, uh, uh capture that from him or steal it. I mean, I've already gotten the life stealer. That was really the big item that I already that I wanted to make with the fragments. I mean, I could make all the elemental weapons. With that's why you want to get fragments as elemental weapons. I believe now it's a little bit easier to get element stuff at this point in the game because with this two, they make a lot of things become a lot easier to uh, get a hold of. So actually, I could have cast a light on them. Ah, yeah, whatever. Uh, by the way, uh, gold dragon, uh, or at least Icarus is. Uh, ooh is a uh, dark elemental so make sure not to have dark elemental weapons equipped on him when fighting him so yeah yeah no one's yeah all right yes i was hoping that I was hoping that he'd move towards a. Yeah, Cobras aren't a threat. I was hoping he'd move towards Let's just so I could use Fatal Dagger on him, so. Yeah, obviously you want to cast Light Magic on uh, on Icarus because of the uh, his Dark Element, also. Alright, let's get a let's get him over here so we can try to steal from him if we can. Yeah, 
I mean, I don't need the Dark Element that badly, but... Yeah, I can have one more, a couple more times for that. Since her magic attack is so high, her stat is so high because of the strongest cane. So... Yeah, I'll try it one more time, but like I said, dark, getting dark fragments are not my, uh, not a high priority for me, so. Uh, try it one more time, if not, I'll capture it later. Oh, there you go. Why does it always do that? Why does it always when I go, eh, yeah, maybe I'll try it again later, you know? Yeah, that guy's chunky, so. Alright, there's Vladimir's, Vladimir's or whatever, the uh, Hell Guardian. Let's take a look at him. Uh, he's a little 57, 177 attack, 25 defense, 301 HP, and 190 MP. Uh, not really not much else to it. Oh yeah, and here's the other formation. You can get some Skull Warriors here. Um, only other thing is you can, you can steal Recovery Tonic from him, but that's not really important, not really a big deal. So, so buff up and wait for them to come to you and finish them off. Might as well get the. Uh, sit, uh, uh, actually, I haven't healed, am I? So. Yeah, too bad your cure isn't very good right now. Mainly yeah, because I, I, I gave her the. Uh, I took off her uh, robe to give her the uh, uh, experience buff, or so, so she's not as strong in this form, but. Yes. Now yeah, just come on down, folks. We'll hit you with all of our area attacks. Don't hit me with that Hell's Gate. Don't send me to Hithel. Oh, right. Yeah, it's because of the armors I'm wearing. Is they have pretty good magic defense. So. Can you actually kill something with knife raid there, Lutz? Oh, yeah, you can. It's because his attack like, does hardly any damage to... Uh... There we go. Alright, got a recovery tonic for that anyway, so there you go. All right, that's it for the, uh, that's it for all the enemies. Yeah, made it a little bit longer, but I want to get those out of the way. So sometimes having a whole episode to just outlaw monsters aren't that very fun. So, all right. So uh, with that information in tow, and we helped with Henriette and summoned some monsters, we now need a way to find Gogan. We'll be able to find the information for Gogan. What other quests will we do while we wait for our information? Perhaps someone can learn the ability to dance? Find out next time in the next episode of Ark the Lad 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.